And now we're going to head on over to D.C. where Fox 5's Bob Barnard is live for us. Bob, good morning. Is there any snow out there in D.C.? I was going to say, Pilar, no, it's cold here this morning. It's just below freezing, but no snow. So rub it in from Central Florida. Thanks a lot. <laughs> all right. So obviously we are still covering all things that happened last week there with the Capitol chaos. What's the latest out there right now, Bob? <laughs> Well, Pilar, when we were with you at about this same time on Friday morning, there were a lot of police cars around here, primarily from Virginia State Police, Virginia State Police troopers lining all the area. You do see uh, Capitol Police have a cruiser here. There is this uh, fencing, this uh, barricade, small, like probably four foot tall fencing. But when we showed you last week, there were a lot of police cars in here. Now there are just a handful from D.C. police. That new seven foot fencing is way down there to the right at the base of the Capitol capital and all around the complex but obviously the security posture is going to change and to increase in the days leading up to next week's inauguration. Bob we're hearing that the mayor has written the acting chief of U.S. Homeland Security asking for what? Well, a number of things. What what uh, she would like is that uh, they declare this national special security event, not just from the uh, 19th to the 21st, but uh, from today to the 24th. Um, and that, that gets, uh, you know, all the federal agencies working with D.C. officials to enhance security. She would actually like FEMA to uh, issue a pre-disaster declaration. She wants uh, the federal government to itself have, you know, uh, federal police protect the federal uh, institutions around D.C. so that D.C. police can do what they're normally doing on a daily basis. She just doesn't want D.C. police to have to protect all the monuments and memorials because there is a million militia uh, march proposed for this coming Sunday. And so she wants to get, uh, you know, the ducks in a row here ahead of that. She's also asking for daily intelligence briefings so that D.C. officials are in the loop with federal officials about what they're learning and what they know about any perceived threats. Uh, she also would like the uh, National Park Service to cancel all public gathering permits and to deny any uh, applications that come in for large events like the Save America rally and march of last week, not just because of uh, you know the concern for uh, safety and violence and what have you, but also uh, because there is a pandemic here. And so she you know, is asking the federal government. Again, this is a letter from Muriel Bowser, who's the mayor of D.C., to the acting uh, secretary of Homeland Security, Chad Wolf, saying, we want your help. We have a pandemic and we have concerns about what's to come in light of what happened here last Wednesday. And so she's just, you know, asking as the mayor of, of the city here to get the, all the federal agencies, you know, working together with them as well so that, uh, you know, ideally they can avoid the trouble that we saw last week. Bob, I'm also hearing there's a don't rent DC hashtag going around. What's that about? Yeah, that's something we've been talking with our viewers about this morning. Uh, there is a gentleman here in DC. His name is James Benson, James Benson. But anyway, he is asking others who own properties here in the DC area to not list them on Airbnb starting today in the days leading up to the inauguration because a lot of the protesters who came here and some of those who've since been arrested for storming the Capitol rented rooms or rented homes on Airbnb in this area, didn't necessarily stay in hotels. Obviously, the people of D.C. can't control what the hotels do, but he's asking uh, other D.C. residents who list either rooms or their homes uh, for rent on Airbnb to not do that. Don't rent D.C. is the hashtag uh, starting today in the days leading up to the inauguration. If you know, people who want to come here can stay wherever. They can stay in Northern Virginia or Maryland. But just to kind of discourage, you know, another mass gathering event if you take away some of the places where they could stay. Interesting. Fox 5's Bob Barnard out there in Washington, D.C. Thank you so much. Looks like you're about to get a gorgeous sunrise out there. So try to enjoy that. It, it, it is coming up uh, behind the Capitol. That's uh, looking east there. We'll see. It usually is. Uh, with clouds in the sky, it, it really lights up in the mornings here. All right, you and your crew take care. We'll see you soon. Thanks, Pilar. Here's a different vantage point of the Capitol in our nation's capital. Again, big thanks to all of our colleagues at Fox 5 there in Washington, D.C. They have been working overtime. They have been working extremely hard, and they have been joining us here on News Now from Fox. So, again, um, if we get that gorgeous sunrise there in our nation's capital, we'll bring it to you right here on News Now from Fox. You know me. I like sunrises, and I like sunrises.